Now the extent to which you need to read the documentation depends on what kind of data science you're doing. If you're doing analytics exploration, it's okay to dive in before you've really got a grip on the documentation, but if you find something that smells like an insight, please, please, please read the documentation before taking it to your business leader. If you're doing machine learning and AI, you can also take a lightweight approach to the documentation. You can dive in and start trying to use the data in training, but please remember this. When you validate and test, please, for goodness sake, do validation and testing on primary data. Whatever validation and testing you do on the secondary or inherited data doesn't count. The only kind of performance you should take seriously is on primary data. And so you need to make sure that you have a way of collecting that primary data and checking how your system does on it. Now, if you're a statistician though, statisticians do not get away with this so lightly. A statistician will need to go and read that documentation in detail, and it is boring. I know it's boring. I'm so sorry that it is boring. If you want to be good at your craft, that is what you will need to do. So if you're a data scientist doing statistics, it is utterly important that you understand exactly what each variable is, exactly the best of your ability, how it was created, how it was computed, what were the formulas? What were the choices? What does everything mean? 